The Wheat School on realagriculture.com is brought to you by CNMC, Syngenta Canada, and the Alberta Wheat Commission. Peter Johnson at WheatPeat, realagriculture.com, and what a year we have had! We set a new record wheat yield in the province of Ontario. It's the fall of 2022 here near Embro, Ontario. I'm in a wheat field. It looks amazing. How could I not be ecstatic for the chances of the wheat crop in 2023? So let's walk through what we're going to do in 2023 to make this the best wheat crop possible. Well, to begin with, the 2022 wheat crop looked horrible. It's absolutely the worst looking wheat crop I've seen in, in I don't know, in a decade or maybe, maybe in my career on the 1st of May. Why was that? 14 inches of rainfall in October. How could we have the worst looking wheat crop turn in to a record yield? We caught an amazing grain fill. June nights stayed cool. That's the, that's the big issue or the big reason June nights stayed cool. So in order to get big wheat yields, Mother Nature has to agree with it. We're going we're gonna to assume she's going to do that for us again. But then we go back up just a little bit, not 2022 wheat crop, 2021 wheat crop. Okay, what was it like? Well, on the 1st of May in 2022, 2021 rather, the wheat crop was the best looking wheat crop I'd seen in a decade or maybe in my career. And it turned out to be absolutely mediocre and it lodged and we had all sorts of issues with it. And you go like, why? Well, we got a shortened grain fill period. Why did it lodge? It was like this wheat field. This is early planted wheat and it looks like a lawn. It is amazing. Well, guess what? It's very lodging prone because there's too many stems per square foot. And that was our problem in 2021. I walked wheat fields, it tripped me. We had 120, 120 stems per square foot. Oh my gosh. Once you break 80 stems per square foot, you have to start worrying about lodging. You get over 100 stems per square foot, lodging becomes the number one issue in winter wheat, in spring wheat, it's more related to seeding rate. But regardless, we've got this great wheat crop. What about fall of 23, or pardon me, 22 for the 23 wheat crop? Well, guess what? Perfect. Perfect because we didn't get too much early seeded wheat. This is early seeded wheat. It's amazing looking right now. We have eight, nine, 10 tillers per plant. Like, wow. Thankfully, seeded at a lower seeding rate, but lots of stems, so lodging prone. Most of the wheat got seeded just a hair on the late side, just a little bit out of the optimum window, which normally would be a bad thing. But then we got one of the best stretches of fall harvest weather we've ever seen all of October. The first 10 days of November, gorgeous, warm sunshine. That late planted wheat or slightly late planted wheat is acting like wheat planted at the absolute perfect time. Three, four leaves, five leaves, two, three tillers. It's right in the sweet spot. So what do we take from that? All right, first off, mother nature has to agree with us. Second, in the fall of 21, pardon me, in the fall of 20 rather, the wheat grew all winter. We almost had no winter. Yeah, that meant that even wheat that was a little bit later planted by the spring, it had so many tillers that it, we just had too many stems. Now we need enough stems, but, and we need big biomass. Big biomass makes yield, but too many stems is a lodging issue. This year looks like we're going to get a normal winter. The prognostication is, is as of today, it's getting cold. Highs of two and three degrees. The wheat's going to go dormant. It's not going to grow if it doesn't grow all winter and we get a reasonable winter, it comes out in the spring and it's set to go. So we are on top of the world. We have, I believe, a record wheat acreage in the province of Ontario. We, we don't know the number yet, but I think we set a new record. 
So in 2022, the wheat crop, a record yield, 99.7, not quite 100, we got to break that. Record wheat acres this fall. Now we just got to get to that record yield again. We have to break 100 bushel per acre in 2023. How are we going to do that? Well, guess what we've learned? You want wheat to do well, you have to manage it. Now, remember, I talked about the weather, I talked about grain fill, and so it's 90% mother nature. And if you don't push the wheat crop, you can still have amazing wheat. But if you want to push for that last 10 bushels, two bushels from nitrogen management, three bushels from fungicide management, whatever those numbers are, you want to chase and get the maximum economic return, the, the best possible wheat crop in the spring. As soon as it greens up, you got to go. We, the wheat crop is just, it's out of the gate. It's chomping, it's flying. All of the yen participants in the UK, the yen participants here in Ontario, the ones that win, once they get that crop rolling and going and just flying, they never let it stop. So we want to feed it some nitrogen early, get the sulfur on early. We want to watch it for disease. We want to manage the wheat crop and keep it rolling and flying. And if mother nature will just smile on us in June and give us those cool nights one more time, we could have record wheat acreage in the province of Ontario and we could break a hundred bushel per acre yield. Peter Johnson at Wheat Pete, realagriculture.com. Whatever you do, we've got the chance, for goodness sakes, in 2023, grow great wheat. <laughs>